Huge thank you to everyone in the UK who has been in touch to offer their support and advice and help with my research project. I launched a research project a few months ago to look at the modern day Gaudiya Vaishnav tradition here in the United Kingdom. Uh, Gaudiya Vaishnavism is another term for Hare Krishna. Uh, Gaudiya Vaishnav is the more technical term referring to the, to the philosophical home for the Hare Krishna movement. Um, which originates from India and I decided to to uh, write a book about what the Hare Krishna movement is really like in the UK come from from a from a sociological perspective and I've come to Brighton for two days uh, to carry out some research uh, there's a lot of uh, devotees um, living in Brighton uh, no surprise it's quite a well, when the sun shines it's kind of quite a beautiful place to um, to live in and I'm looking at Gaudiya Vaishnavism from a sociological perspective in its widest sense. And one of the things or the thing that's really surprised me the most since I started this research is that Gaudiya Vaishnavism is more broad and more diverse than I originally thought. Um, and I decided, um, I realise a lot of people listening to this might understand some of the terms I'm referring to, but I decided um, to use Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur as a pinpoint in my research. So Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur Maharaj was the guru of Srila Prabhupada and Srila Prabhupada was the founder Acharya of ISKCON, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness. So I'm using Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur Maharaj as my pinpoint. He had, uh, I think it was 21 sannyas disciples, and I'm, I'm trying to map a tree, a family tree of those disciples, and in particular, whether they have active groups or followers or disciples in the UK today in 2019. When I started this project, I was of the view that you've definitely got ISKCON, ISKCON is the organization I'm part of, and you've probably got two or three other groups. So far, I have discovered at least 10, at least 10 groups. Um, so that's ISKCON and, and nine others. And those 10 groups are all in the Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur line. There are other groups that are in other lines. Uh, the Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur lineage comes from Rupa Goswami, Maharaj, other groups, particularly they're active in Glastonbury, uh, in Somerset, come from the uh, Nityananda Janavi line. I haven't even gone on to them yet because I've been really overwhelmed with the amount of groups <laughs> that, um, that are in the, in the Bhakti Siddhanta Maharaj line. So I'm in Brighton for two days because Brighton is a, a bit of a hotbed, head, a hotbed for Gaudiya Vaishnavism. Um, uh, you've certainly got ISKCON here. You've got followers of Srila Narayan Maharaj here. Uh, you've got followers of Sri Sridhar Maharaj here. Uh, this evening, uh, what date is it today? Thursday the 8th of August 2019. I am meeting Srila Bodayan Maharaj. Srila Bodayan Maharaj is the current Acharya of the Sri Gopinath Gaudiya Mat. The Sri Gopinath Gaudiya Mat was founded by Sri Puri Maharaj, who was a godbrother of Srila Prabhupada. Um, um, what I'm doing is I'm mapping out this tree which started on a four sheet of paper, which has now ran onto three sheets of paper. And um, one of the things I've been fascinated by, as well as the diversity, is actually that in other groups or in other lineages, there are quite a few female gurus. There are quite a few initiating uh, female gurus, which uh, it's gone, uh, hasn't quite <laughs> got there on yet, uh, but hopefully it will uh, soon. So I'm looking forward to meeting Srila Badai Maharaj tonight. Uh, also in Brighton, you've got disciples of um, Tipperara Swami. Tipperara Swami is the founder of the Sri Taitanya Ashram, sorry, Sangha, Sri Taitanya Sangha, uh, which is different from the Sri Taitanya Ashram, which was founded by Swami Narasimha also in the 1980s. They're both Diksha disciples of Srila Prabhupada. Um, and I also discovered a disciple living near Brighton uh, he is a disciple of um, Paramed Paramadvaita Swami. Paramadvaita Swami is a, a quite a well-known German guru who uh, set up his own mat. Uh, I can't remember the full name. The Srila Vedanta Vaishnav Trust. I need to check that. 
Um, so that's an update on what's happening. I'm going to give another update soon on some really interesting information I've discovered about um, the Sri Vyasudev Gaudiya Mat. The Sri Vyasudev Gaudiya Mat was set up in East London in the 1930s and still exists today uh, and, and has had a number of prominent people involved. So that's my update for now. Um, I'm, I'm happy listening, watching, looking, whatever you're doing. And I'm going to go off and do some sightseeing in Brighton. <laughs>